Hi and welcome to another episode from the Game Collector. So in today's episode I'm going to show you some of my recent game pickups and let's get started with the first game pickup and that is a homebrew. Uh, this game called Planet X2 is made from a YouTuber called the 8-Bit Guy. And this is just pure awesomeness. Just look at the box, just look at the cover art. Uh, this is a game made for the Commodore 64 and the box contains the soundtrack on a cassette. How awesome is that? And you will also get, get the game on a floppy disk. I don't own the Commodore 64 but you will get a digital download link so you can download the, the file and play it via Y simulator or similar. And also the manual is pretty awesome. It's very detailed and how often do you see a real-time strategy game on the Commodore 64? I'll put the link below where you can uh, purchase this um, game. I'm not sure how many copies they will release so I think you should be pretty quick if you want to grab this game. Uh, I also put a link to the 8-bit guy, uh, his YouTube channel below. Um, this is just um, this is just like it was back in the days, but the, even the manual is better than the old games released in that time area. It's it's very detailed. Um, so um, yeah, even the maps are included. So uh, just 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 awesome. So uh, I'm looking forward to try this game. I seen some uh, gameplay on YouTube. This looks awesome uh, for Commodore 64 game. Just, just awesome. And I just love the artwork. Uh, An Norwegian guy has been involved making the music and the, and the cover art. So that's pretty cool. So for the next pickup, I didn't own this uh, handheld back in the days. I had several friends having this handheld. Uh, so now I finally got my hands on the Game Boy from 1989, the original Game Boy. And this is just so fun to play. And it was including the Super Mario Land. I purchased this off eBay, um, pretty reasonable price. There are some fault with this um, Game Boy, it's some, some lines not uh, appearing correctly on the edge of the screen, but it's not affecting gameplay that much, so I think it's fine. I just, just, just love... How can I not love the Game Boy? You need light to play, uh, if it's dark it's impossible to see the screen, but it was like that back, back in the days. So, um, yeah, so... Uh, I just, I just love uh, the Game Boy. I, I need to pick up more games for it. Um, some games for the Game Boy are cheap, some are a bit more expensive, but um, I just love it. I was so uh, jealous about people having a Game Boy um, uh, back in the days. Uh, so uh, yeah, just awesome to finally grab one. So for the PS1, I just love the PS1. Um, so I had to um, expand my PS1 collection. I had to pick up this game. I played this a lot on the PC back in the days. I think this is a very similar game. This is called Syndicate Wars. I think it plays a bit different than the old Syndicate on the PC. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I only seen some YouTube uh, gameplays and reviews. It looks very, very awesome. Uh, I, I just love the atmosphere of this game. Um, and music. It's it's. Uh, I was uh, thrilled when I saw this uh, footage, so I'm eager to try this on. And this was pretty decent in price also. So for some uh, more modern uh, system, I picked up um, the Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection on the PS4. It was Black Friday. I had to purchase this. It was almost 50% off the normal retail price. So uh, I am the one that haven't played any of the um, Uncharted games. Uh, so I thought why not start with the first three games remastered on the PS4. And I heard a lot of good things about this game. So I'm pretty excited to try the Uncharted games. I'm not sure why I haven't uh, uh, play these games on the PS3. Uh, I have lots of games for the PS3, but I never touched those games. I'm not sure why. 
So for the next pickup, this is uh, on the Xbox One. I love racing and I had to pick up Forza Motorsport 7. Also a Black Friday sale. Good price on this one, almost 50% off. I just love the Forza series. Uh, the last Forza game I played, I think it was Forza 5, and that was pretty awesome. So if this is even better than Forza 5, I have lots of lots of hours in this game for sure. And sticking to racing, I also had to grab uh, Gran Turismo Sport on the PS4. Uh, I haven't played uh, Gran Turismo since the PS3 days. Uh, I think the last one was... Uh, I did miss the last game on the PS3, but the game coming up... For, yeah, I can't remember the title. I can't see it on my shelf either. Yeah, but it's... Uh, yeah, Gran Turismo 5 was the last uh, game I played. I think Gran Turismo 6 was the last game released on PS3. Uh, so uh, I'm going to try this one, and this is VR compatible, I don't have the PlayStation VR yet, but um, this looks promising for sure. So for last pickup, not a game, but as you have seen in my uh, other videos, I'm a huge uh, fan of the Retro Gamer magazine, and now all of a sudden the Xbox has gone retro. Do you agree? I have to say, um, I think Xbox was released in 2000, I think, it's 17 years ago, I think it's retro now, um, or is it me getting older, because I, it's not that long ago I bought uh, the Xbox uh, original second hand, uh, but I, I just love the Xbox, uh, it was one of my uh, not one of my first consoles, but it was. Uh, um, I had um, after the PS1, I bought uh, the Xbox. No, actually, I bought actually the Xbox after PS2 because I was pretty late buying the Xbox. I, I purchased my first Xbox original in 2005, so that was pretty late. So, uh, but I just love the Xbox, lots of great games, uh, the Halo games, Burnout games, so lots of great. And I also collect a lot of ga um, Xbox games, lots of great classic on that, classics on that system. So, um, but is it retro? Yeah, I would say so, yeah. But some people will not agree on that, but um, anyway, it's a. Uh, an awesome magazine. If you haven't uh, purchased the Retro Gamer magazine before, I highly recommend you do. It's uh, featuring uh, lots of great games, in-depth articles, also interviews with uh, developers, so you can see how they made the game. Uh, so, yeah. Also, uh, I think lots of uh, Xbox games are pretty cheap, so it's pretty affordable system to collect for. So, uh, yeah. So that was my recent uh, pickups. I hope you have uh, enjoyed the video. Hit the like button below, please comment and take care. I see you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.